What's up, guys, and welcome back to Donkey Garage with me, Link to Killer here. Because we got a new build, baby. That's right, I already got a new build. Now, if you remember last episode, I, I was talking about how I have an addiction to going to the junkyard and buying cars. Well, you'll also remember that I said my parking garage is full. And we don't get a new one in, until I buy it. I don't want to buy it. So, as you can see, it's full. I already pulled one out. It's inside the shop. I already did some work on it. Let's go check it out. And uh, we'll discuss the plans for it. So, in here, it's the Creeper Van. <laughs> but, yeah. I, uh, I went ahead and did all the body work. Got new panels on and everything. Uh, I took the suspension all apart. Took the motor and everything out. Fix the suspension and everything. This thing is pretty much ready to get new, new stuff on there. Um, but for today's episode, uh, I'm not going to reveal what's the theme, but y'all going to think it's pretty funny. So let's get started on it, shall we? So here's the original motor out of that thing. And uh, if you can look at this thing, this thing looks gross. But I think today we're going to show a little bit of the uh, actual teardown of the engine. I think last episode we kind of showed like teardowns of the suspension. Today we're going to do the engine just kind of so y'all can get an idea. But uh, I may when I go to reassemble it, I'm either going to do a jump cut or we're going to do a little speedy speed. On it I think that'd be kind of cool but pretty much we're gonna tear this thing apart and see what all we can fix because some of this looks like it is repairable which would be amazing and uh, if you caught yesterday's episode of my rise you know that the game is junk and I would say still don't buy the game it looks great but uh, apparently too many freaking bugs for them to fix because <laughs> it's not an NBA game probably that's why all their money goes into NBA games and as far as I know they're still working on it according to some of the articles I read oh, that frustrates me so much guys it frustrates me it's like well now I gotta redo my whole career again <laughs> And it's a matter of trying to remember what all I did. Luckily, I recorded it, so it's not that too bad. But needless to say, today we shall take this engine apart. You can see, it's a lot of work to get this thing apart. So I'm not going to bore you all putting it to be together. But hopefully, it looks like y'all enjoying the series so far, the two episodes I put out. Even though one wasn't in the series, really. But it looks like y'all enjoying it. So, thank y'all for watching it. I do appreciate you. Uh, rotate. There we go. And that thing's sounding crusty. Alright, so let's see. we got to take these things out. And this one. Alright. And then we should be able to just take these out. And you should come out. And you should come out. That. And these screws. And this comes off. I did not want to go that close to it. So here's a piston. Here's a piston. Here's a rod. And a piston. And a piston. And that's a piston. And then we should be able to take you off. Alright. And if we leave that on there, it should be able to build it back up. But let's go over here and see if we can repair some of this stuff. Because the more we can repair, the more money we save. Just kind of like our Honda Civic we did last episode. Well, that was trash canned. Uh. 
worth it. <laughs> oh, so you can replace the clutch plates. That's good to know. I don't think they're expensive, though. There we go. There you go. There you go. All right. So we replaced good bit of stuff so let's sell parts let's do uh 50 percent so here's all our new stuff so if we do that we can actually put this engine block back on there so there's our new new quotation marks there's the new engine block i don't remember what all we repaired we repaired a kink show okay Okay, so we don't have that. I'm pretty sure we didn't repair any of these. Yeah. So, what we're gonna have to do is rebuild this thing with all the necessary parts, which shouldn't be too bad. So pretty much what I'm gonna end up doing is this. And just buy a bunch of parts, throw them on. Bunch of parts, throw them on, and just rinse and repeat until this is complete. And, um, yeah, let's start diving into this, shall we? Should take us a little bit. All right, so we need eight of these. Finishing up the last a little bit of the engine. There you have it. Completed engine. And we just take it off the stand. And we 
install it. Pick this up. Look at that beautiful engine, baby. Beautiful. So now, the fun part is reassembling this whole engine bay. Which isn't too terrible. I mean, it's a lot of work. Um. Too, too terrible, I don't think. ABS pump, fuse box, brake, battery. I want to make sure I get all the electrical stuffs. And then I did not need that. That was a mistake. We have a spare. So, fuse box, battery, power steering, you, you, we got to uh, windshield wiper reserves, but that, I got the ABS module, which is probably super expensive, but who knows. Um, next thing is the fuse box and then all the stuff under it, which I think y'all seen me do a bunch of this before. I don't know how much of this y'all want to see. But let's, let's do some of this on camera. I don't want to just cut stuff out, you know. Perfect. Cool. Yeah, I was kind of hoping that would work. Not gonna lie. So we're looking for a fuse box cover A. So we're just gonna pop some fuses in this bad boy. And then we can do like the suspension. I'm gonna do all the suspension off camera because that's just gonna take me a while um, to rebuild everything. And I think I have, I'm probably gonna have to go back and forth between our storage to finish it. So I wanna get most of this done on camera for you guys. All right, so what's in my inventory? So I have a few expenses. That's fine. I have an extra one of these, which is weird. All right, so I have a few expense extent ex suspension parts. Um, looks like I rebuilt the transmission, so that saves us a good bit of money there. So. Go ahead, put Big Bertha in there. Don't think I have that. So we're gonna just start getting some of this stuff rolling in the deeps. Get rid of that. That should be our last electronic thing. One, two. One, two. And this will get us some exhaust. This will be our way of starting this thing. What a concept. I'm pretty sure we don't have those. Or those. Or that. Do I even have that? I did. I did fix it. <laughs> did I fix both sides? No. Okay. Did I fix the dry shaft? I did. 
beast mode. Um, let's put that on the docket. I did not fix the fuel tank. Alright, let's see. Cadillac converters to two of these. Just a smudge. Fuel pump. So there's most of the stuff. Now it's just suspension left. What I got left is suspension. I don't have much suspension components. Apparently, I forgot to put the uh, muffler here. Let's check out storage. Um, I mean, we have a few parts here and there. I don't think, I think that's one of the things we're going to need. Yeah, that's all we can use from store. So everything else is going to be out of pocket pretty much. So. Here's what I'm going to do, guys. Let me get the suspension up and done. I'll bring you guys back once I get closer to the finish. Do I have enough to just do one side? That's hilarious. Probably have no pads. Yeah, I don't have pads. Really? One, two. Okay. Apparently I don't have that. That's hilarious. Two, three, four, one, two. But in a nutshell, guys, this is pretty much all I'm going to be doing for the next probably 30 minutes. So I'll see y'all in a second. All right, guys, welcome back. I got everything under the van done. Now we gotta find some ties. So we need 16 inch, 16 inch rims, huh? What kind of rims would look good on a van? The Creeper van. I haven't revealed who this is themed after, have I? So, Every time I look at this van, all I can think of is McDonald's. The Ronald McDonald gang. All their mascots crammed into one picking up kids off the out of the, the play area. <laughs> that's messed up late, but that's what I think of. Does that make me a bad person? So yeah, this van's gonna be modeled after themed after McDonald's. 225 75 225 75 we're just gonna go with the uh, just regular standard tires actually uh, they should be fine to what was it to 65 or 75 Yes. <laughs> this is either going to work or not. They're mounting. One step closer, guys. But yeah, so this is going to be a McDonald's themed van. Everybody loves McDonald's. I don't care who you are. You, you, at one point in your life, had McDonald's and you enjoyed it. Even though it's not real meat. 
But those french fries keep coming back. Hell, I'm, I'm gonna admit it. I love their chicken nuggets. Chicken nuggets in their barbecue sauce. Two of the best things they can do. No wrong until they change the recipe and then I'll probably never buy McDonald's again because they're super expensive and I'd rather go to a restaurant. <laughs> As you can see, all of the suspension is like on that. And the tires look like they're fitting, so that's perfect too. So let's see if we jump out. Dude, that looks cartoonish. They look like balloons. <laughs> I love it. Now, I don't know how much of this we can go crazy with paint style, but we're gonna try to get pretty crazy. All right. Set this beautiful machine. Man, that looks so cartoonish with those tires. There we go. Uh, okay, so we need to add all the fluids. I forgot to do that, so let's add all of the fluids. One. Two. Power steering. Cool it in and wash wiper fluid. We should be good to go. Cool it. The Bull Bull Atot Rex Master Kruklaskin. I don't know what any of that says on that container. <laughs> How about windshield wiper fluid? No freeze, no shimmer, no dirt. I guess that's what this is. No sh smear. All right, so we're gonna move you over to the test path. We gotta do a wheel alignment next. Increases your your uh, your stuff, and I am kind of curious what all we can add. So we can add something to the top. What can you add to the top of this? It looks like all you can do is add to the top. Okay. So let's go here, let's go to add-ons. Too bad it's not Pizza Place who named it out there. We can do uh, maybe a police siren? Sure, we'll do a police siren. If we can't do a police siren, we'll do a, a light. All right, so here. So this is where I'm kind of curious of how far can we push the paint jobs. Uh, so we're going to want a red. Nice red. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Perfect. Can't be stopped. Now, these things. We have one. No clue what that did. Oh, there is literally just one. 
Oh, it's a little mark. Hmm. Can we change that? Like this color? Can we change that color? Um. I'm so confused. Like, how do you change the colors? See, that changes that, so you can't change the color. That sucks. I do like the chrome, though. That has a very 18 themed. But we're going for uh, Ronald McDonald, man. We're going for Ronald McDonald. So that this is probably what we're gonna have to do. It sucks that you can't do like different stuff. Cause I don't think these parts here can be painted. Like the bumper. Um no. Pink car, pink booth. Too sure if you can paint parts, you should be able to paint parts. I remember you can do that. Is it because the van's in here? Maybe we'll move it to the test zone because it's just right next door to the paint booth, and then we can paint it. Okay. doing custom paint jobs guys oh we might be on to something I don't know if we can paint anything else there's not much to paint on this thing um, maybe the back doors you think just want to get some yellow in that thing Okay, can, we can, okay, sweet. So we do that. I don't even know if that's changing anything. <laughs> uh, that didn't even paint it, what's up with that? There you go. I'm gonna do the doors. I know it's gonna look goofy, but uh, pretty sure I clicked on that. But and the other mirror. All right. Let's put these parts back on this van. That didn't do anything. That too. That looks amazing. I like it. Oh, I fell in the hole. And now I'm stuck. That's great. Let's uh, move it to the outside. And, uh,. Let's drive it to the photo location. Now, I think I need to put a license plate on it, but it shouldn't affect the price of it too much without one. Oh, look at that beautiful, beautiful ketchup looking, ketchup and mustard looking thing there, boy. Woo. So let's, oh. Uh, Let's go back to the shop. Let's see how much we can actually sell this thing for. 
and that'll be it for the day. So here's the beautiful van. And our total price we can get for this thing is $51,000. Profit of $47,000. Look at that. We're flipping cars like it's nobody's business. But there you go. The Mickey... What was I calling it? The... The Mac Daddy Wagon. That's what we call it. The Mac Daddy Wagon's ready to go on, on, on the roach. Collect all the children to bring them to the ball pits at every McDonald's. And I think it came out a beautiful, if you ask me. I like, I actually like the yellow doors. I actually like that. And I like the little bit in the yellow in the front. So I think it came out great. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of this theme build. And I will see y'all in the next one. Until then, y'all stay safe. Peace.